Yesterday, we were talking about functions, right? And you guys, we talked about vocabulary with input and output being the x and y values. We talked about a relation being the way of, just, of showing the pairing, the ordered pairs. Close your iPad. Like, actually put it down so I don't think you're watching something. I, right now he's not. The second I get distracted, he's going to open it back up and watch something. And then we talked about specific relations that can be determined to be a function, right? Xavier, why don't you go ahead on over to that table by yourself today? Thanks. So we, we specifically were focused on the x values, right? If an x value repeats, not a function. x values don't repeat, it is a function. So then we had a couple of examples, right? We decided, for example, one, that this is a function because none of my x values repeat. Example two, this was not a function because the x value negative 1 repeats. So now we're going to do our third example. We're going to make a table of values. So when I look at this table of values, and I focus in on the x values specifically, do any of these numbers repeat? No. No. So that means it is a function, right? As soon as one of those x values repeat, it's no longer a function. We are ignoring the y's. The y's don't matter to us right now. It doesn't matter that we have a 5 here and a 5 here. It doesn't matter. All right, so this is a function. So we talked about ordered pairs yesterday. We talked about tables. What was the third way you can show a relation? If you look back to that first page. Oh, yeah. yeah, what were those little circle things called? Not life jacket. Not life jacket, but I remember you saying that it looked like that. That was easy. Yes. Yeah. The mapping. The mapping. So let's look at a mapping example. Please stop talking. Let's stop talking. I am looking at you. I am looking at you right now. <laughs> so, Innocent, I'm making a video right now of this lesson, and if I were to play it back, you would probably hear your voice 85% of the time. So if you think that I am, like, picking you out of all the other kids that are talking, you're the one that's talking the most. Replay it right now. I will absolutely replay it when we're done. I'm not stopping in the middle of the video. Okay, so when I look at this mapping... If I can't tell right away whether or not this is a function, I'm going to go ahead and list the ordered pairs. So what are the ordered pairs from this mapping relation? What are the x's that are connected to the y's? CJ? Uh, four connected to one and four connected to five. 
Right. 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 Right.
and draw a vertical line, is it going to go through that graph more than once? No. Right? So if I draw a red line, is it going to go through the graph more than once at any two points? It is. And what that means is that that x value was used more than once. What's the rule if the x value is used more than once? It's, it's not a function. It's not a value. It's not a function, right? So because I can draw a vertical line and it would go through more than one point on my graph, it fails the vertical line test and therefore it's not a function, right? So this fails the vertical line test because it crosses the graph more than once. I could say that this is ordered pair two one, and this might be ordered pair two, negative one. But my x's are still both two, and that's how I know that it fails. And oftentimes they won't have actual ordered pairs with them, but as soon as you see it cross more than once, it fails. That is our vertical line test. So now we'll do an example where it passes the vertical line test. So you have an idea of what that might look like. If I had a graph that looked like this, right, just kind of some squiggles, if I take my red pencil and I make vertical lines, will it ever go through more than one? No. Nope. What's a vertical line again? Uh, it's just straight. North to south. So if I decided to draw my vertical line here, it's only going to go through once. If I decided to draw my vertical line here, it's still only going to go through once. So it will only pass through a single point. So it passes the vertical line test. Let's go ahead and up here and for example run one right no not a function
Okay, so let's take a look here at this practice assignment. We're going to work through these together because these are things that you'll be expected to know how to do when it comes time for the quiz. Sometime next week, I think. Probably at the end of next week. I have a question. Yes. Is it okay if the Y value repeats? Yes. Yep. Okay, so let's look at number one. It says, write each relation as a set of ordered pairs. Then determine if it's a function. All right, so let's go ahead and write these as ordered pairs. So what will my first ordered pair be? Negative three, negative four. What will the next ordered pair be? Two and zero. Two and zero. Two, zero. Xavier, what's the next one? Five and four. Five, four. Eight, five. And then one, seven. Okay, now I know some of you are like, why can't I just look at the table? I mean, you can, but on the quiz, you're going to be asked to take a relation and represent it in a different way. So this is one of those ways. You can rewrite the table as ordered pairs. So when we look at these ordered pairs, we can decide if this is a function. Is it a function? Yes. Yep. How do you know? How did you make that decision? X values do not repeat. Yeah, so right now it's just ordered pairs. There's no like rule or function. Yes. Doesn't matter. Yep, Y values we're completely ignoring right now. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at example two. We've got ordered pair two, one, four, three, Is this a function, Silas? Why not? X value two repeats. Right. So you're going to need to be able to tell me if it's a function, and then why it is or is not a function. Look at this last one. Yep. Next week sometime. I don't have it exactly figured out when. Probably the end of next week. Kiera, is this a function or no? What repeats? Which one? It is a function. Right? Negatives and positives are not the same values. Okay? Going to be part of your notes that you keep. Question mark. 